Good morning children and welcome back to my channel Namil Ziksha 1 and today I am going to start the unit 4 for class 2. Subject is English. So first of all I will tell you what this unit is about. The idea in the unit 4 is to further assist children to build their imagination by listening carefully, reading, speaking and writing sentences. So this unit mainly focus on the imagination or to enhance the imagination of a child okay now let's begin our video and in the first phase of this video we will give you one short poem on rain let's recite this poem the rain is all around it falls on field and tree it rains on the umbrellas here and on the ship at sea so children it is very very short one stanza four line poem so you can recite it you can learn it very easily and enjoy it what you have to make is you should draw this picture in your notebook also and write this poem okay and learn these new words field umbrellas ship here the fields you can understand like the uh, areas around the villages where crops are grown by the farmers umbrellas you know very well ships are the transports which run in the big seas and the oceans now let's have this part reading is fun where does the rain fall the rain fall or around on field trees umbrellas and on the ship what do people use when it rains umbrellas we generally use umbrellas or raincoats also now let's talk we will talk it on this point about the rainy day on water on the playing games in water all these things we will talk when we will meet in the classroom and you should listen all these things means you should listen the sound of rainfall to make this uh, uh, what is the sound comes when rain makes on the umbrellas what sound does the rain make when it, on the leaves what sound does the rain make on your windows you can listen it and you will find that all the time the thing is one but the sound is different okay now let's come to the next part counting clouds oh it's very interesting complete the story as one little white cloud floated in the sky one day another little cloud called out come let's play as two little clouds dance in the sky so blue another little cloud asked can i join you as three little clouds held hands in the sky the wind blew another little cloud very close by as four little clouds decided what to do another little cloud joined them very quietly too now write what the fifth and the sixth clouds did as the fifth and sixth clouds joins all of them shake together to rains okay and you can change this line also next is the word fun means here you have got a puzzle crossword puzzle and you will find you have to write down the find out the names of these pictures means snow then it is wind moon stars heat dust cloud sun okay now let's share what you will call these pictures in your own language it means in your mother tongue and now label the pictures in english so i have written here moon sun cloud and stars it is very easy and you can easily identify it now this is a riddle time and very important riddle because it relates to one more important liquid which we require daily in our life i go up and down a lot whether it is cold or hot sometimes i am on the ground others time i am in the clouds my name rhymes with daughter i am your friend named what uh, good and this is a fish tank where you have to draw some more creatures in this tank and you have to write down the three sentences I have read uh, I have written short three sentences you can change these as per your wish this is an aquarium fish lives in it the fish tank has a small plants and stone in it let's come to the next exercise let's sing wow rain on the green grass rain on the trees and rain on the house top but not upon me good and these are the rhyming words way away day play 
and what you have to do you have to fill these colors red yellow and blue then you will get something here what that i will not tell you you will get after coloring it okay now let's write you have to fill the pictures and fill in the blanks look at the pictures fill in the blanks from the word like the ship is sailing on the sea the river flows from the mountain the duck is swimming in the pond the frog lives in the lake good and you can write here here pond or lake also here pond also you can change it both are right okay in this way we can uh, complete our poem of unit 4 thank you for watching it if you like it kindly share subscribe with your friends thank you